My name is Norma Miller, and I'm one of the persons who come down here that's proud to be part of this wonderful organization that keep our heritage of great jazz alive through the efforts of the great Louis Armstrong. And to be a part of that, to me, is what's part of my life is the most important thing that I could be doing because we're giving the generations the heritage that Louis Armstrong left us, and I think that's worthwhile to keep that alive. The camp is part of my life. I love coming here, and to see that youngsters are sitting there being studying with some of the great masters, and you do have great teachers here, and this is something that must always be. Jazz is the really true American art form that was born here in New Orleans, and we have to continue that tradition, and that's what we're doing. We're using the masters here in the city, the artistic and educational masters, to give these children an opportunity to learn and to be disciplined, and, and many of them may go, go on to be professional musicians. Well, I do believe the jazz camp is very important. Uh, the young children uh, today, um, unlike the times before my time and during my time where we uh, learn jazz from the streets, learn jazz from the neighborhoods, learn jazz from mentors in the neighborhood, uh, the young students today, they don't have access to uh, those type of situations now. Um, and now, today with the influx of technology, um, internet, Facebook, and all these other things, all these other types of distractions, it, 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 it tends to keep a child more uh, gravitating to uh, those type of things. Uh, we have the jazz instructors, people that, that can mentor, but it's just so few now. So uh, it's kind of hard for those kids, and I think it's really needed today more than uh, before. Jazz camp is very uh, important to city, the city of New Orleans simply because uh, it keeps the musical heritage going, but with a sense of integrity where it's not, you know, the, the teachers here try to teach the students the legacy of this music, the history of this music, and try to continue on this century with the music, but like I said, with some integrity, with them really having sound fundamentals together, and you know, just being able to produce the right sound on their instruments, and uh, being able to read music, and being able to know the different styles of this music that we call jazz, but to also to try to give them enough instruction and inspiration to try to push the music forward. Not to, not to just know the history, but to also, in a sense, continue what's already been given to them through this cultural legacy here in New Orleans by this being a birthplace of jazz. We're not teaching the kids, okay, just to learn a bunch of tunes that people have done a thousand years over, but to really show them and to inspire the creative energy that that's already in them to try to just bring it out of them. And, and I think it helps the city of New Orleans because just because we're the, the birthplace of jazz and tourists come here to hear the, the music, but when people come, maybe they'll start hearing some revolutionary ideas and new ideas in music and that's about it. <laughs> Yeah, I think it's very important to New Orleans because it's uh, showing us that um, this legacy of this music that started here in New Orleans will be carried on. And that's the whole, uh, I guess, the old description of New Orleans music or jazz music is that the older musicians pass it on to the young musicians and they, they in turn pass it on to the next generation. So that's the way I see it. In the, in the camp, we have uh, several former students here who are teaching now. And so that in itself is giving us a good indication that this camp can go on and on and on because we're not only teaching students about the music, but we're teaching them 
in ways so that they will become great teachers too and pass it on. I think jazz camp is very important because what we're doing is we're preserving the art form of jazz here in New Orleans and we're allowing the citizens of New Orleans to partake in this creative process. Uh, one thing that we take for granted is that this music has always been here uh, with all of the issues that we have in the economy, with all the issues that we have just uh, with world strife and everything else that's happening, we, we're at a risk of losing uh, this, this art form that we call jazz and it's something that's very important to us here in New Orleans not just from a cultural standpoint but also from an economic standpoint too. We're not only training uh, students to carry on the legacy of jazz but what we're also doing is we're, we're training our students to be employed in the workforce. We're training our students to make sure that they have an employable skill and that uh, all of this learning hopefully will transcend just the playing of their instrument whether it's piano or bass or a horn uh, but really help them with life skills as well. So I think we have some of the best students anywhere, regardless of, of their background, regardless of their life histories. I mean, the students that we have here, they are the future of this music, and they're the ones that are going to take this music to that next level and make sure that it survives in whatever incarnation that it is. Uh, but I think that it is so ultimately important that our students, especially here in New Orleans, have the arts as part of their, uh, their, their actual schooling and curriculum. You know, uh, everybody likes to say research has shown that, that music uh, or the arts uh, are good. But again, th we're always the first, uh, if you will, subjects that are cut whenever there are budget cuts and things like that. And if you really take a look at it, does it make fiscal sense or financial sense to be taking the skills away from people that can give them productive lives later rather than putting the money into some other things and cutting these skills so when students actually get out they, they don't have a job to fall back upon and they don't have those skills that they need to continue to move forward. Uh, you know, certainly that's something that uh, I, I'm very passionate about. I really believe that the arts uh, enable us to deliver those skills to students to make them successful whether they're doctors whether they're lawyers or whether whatever profession they go in that the actual discipline that it takes and the actual skills that they learn by by participating in a program are so much more than just oh I'm learning how to read music oh I'm learning how to play a song I'm learning how to do this I mean these are actual tangible life skills that they're learning this camp is truly unique in that um, it's probably the only camp um, that I know of that we deal with fundamentals. First of all, we deal with fundamentals. So it's not about um, playing a song. It's about a kid being able to be better prepared when he leaves here than when he came. And we are truly interested in the kid as uh, becoming um, not necessarily a musician, but a better person. So music is a part of that because of the discipline that you get from music. Uh, that's going to help you become a better person. So I think this is uh, something that's really, really needed. And in these times, we definitely need this camp. Well, I think jazz camp is good for New Orleans, basically for I think everybody will say the same thing. It's just uh, because of the uh, the cultural uh, continues the, the the cultural legacy of uh, of what Louis Armstrong and others have started at the turn of the century. We you know this is the birthplace of jazz, so we can't have anybody else staking claim that they have the uh, one of the greatest programs around. And we 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 started this, so we have to we have to continue this, and we have to keep our kids uh, rooted in uh, where all of this came from. The Louis Armstrong Jazz Camp is important because I think it gives young kids another viewpoint of music. And that's very important, as you know, there's a lot of kids in New Orleans who really only participate in marching bands. Uh, they participate, in some of them in concert bands, which are good. Uh, but for the most part, they really don't understand that music education can be formalized in a lot of different ways. And I think the beauty of the jazz camp is that our structure has evolved 
to the point where we can, like uh, my father said this morning, have kids deal with fundamentals. They have to deal with sight reading. Uh, they have to deal with the structure of music. And they can do that in the jazz context because usually a lot of young kids, uh, for instance, my development, that happened in a classical setting. Uh, because classical music evolved to the point where you have to have certain things that you have to know in order to play that music, without a doubt, right? Certain fundamentals that you have to have. And for some strange reason, I think a lot of people felt like um, jazz, you didn't have to establish those fundamentals. And I think the beauty of, of the Louis Armstrong Jazz Camp is that we very much into fundamentals, we're into the history of the music, as well as reading, and as well as really playing in ensembles, different ensembles. So that's the reason why we sound great. That's the reason why when the instructors leave here, they say, man, this is a great camp because we really cover all of the, from the basics to, you know, great ensemble playing, I think. I think the Louis Armstrong Jazz Camp is important because it trains young people in the traditions of jazz and the music that was founded in New Orleans. Uh, it perpetuates the tradition. It also uh, fulfills a, it fills in a gap uh, in music education that exists in New Orleans right now. We don't, all schools don't have music education, so in this way those kids who are really driven to play music can get expert advice and get uh, expert teachers to help them make the, make the leap into uh, music as a career perhaps. New Orleans is uh, uniquely dependent on the cultural economy. It's, uh, it's dependent on, on food, cuisine, music, entertainment, uh, architecture, history. It's, it's dependent on what the cultural values. And uh, Louis Armstrong Camp and other initiatives like it are directly addressing that cultural economy and trying to keep it going, trying to prepare it for the future, trying to seed it with new people and young people who can carry forth the traditions. You know, the major effect of the Armstrong Camp is on the, the, the participants. It's on the children and the young people who are educated in this rather unique way. You have the elders of the community who have, have long been established as the great artists and the great teachers of, the, of, the, of New Orleans in terms of music. And to have the young people who are talented and who are driven to succeed interact with those elders and those, those, uh, those geniuses of the music creates a mentoring relationship that I think will create resonance in the community. Those kids will take forth the message. So I think that it's, uh, it's actually at the root of the, the, the creative spirit of the city. It's important because, number one, it fills a void that we have in our community. It's a camp that's very unique because uh, most of the camps are not as intense as this one is, where we have big band, combo, vocal, a big mix, and we have various levels. And uh, I don't know of any camp that's like this particular camp. You know, where could kids go in New Orleans and be a part of a big band, playing a tribute to them, uh, whoever, all the artists we had uh, over the years, like last year we did Latin music and dance, swing dance, uh, for kids to be able to interact with artists like Kid Jordan or like we had Alvin Baptiste. These are master teachers and often they're still teaching us this next generation of teachers so we could help be better teachers. Uh, but it's a great thing for these kids to come here and to be able to hone in on the skills that they need to hone in to, to be successful at the next level. This jazz camp uh, provides foundations. This jazz camp provides a musical foundation for any child who participates. And what I mean by that is our faculty uh, is a faculty that demands that demands that our students learn to do things properly. And once you learn how to do something properly, then you have a smooth way to go. And I think that our faculty uh, does a very good job of instilling that uh, thing in, 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 in the children that participate. It doesn't matter uh, whether it's dance, singing, playing the instrument, composing, whatever. We have a way of demanding a good foundation 
It's not where kids just come in and blow, you know. When I walk down the corridors and see and hear uh, young people learning how to do the scales, learning how to do the arpeggios, learning how to read music, learning to understand that all of these things make good jazz, if you will. Um, they um, not only get to experience the written note, but they experience the inner spirit that goes to make that written note be what it is. The Louis Armstrong Jazz Camp allows the the children of our city to, number one, get in touch with some of the great musicians that we have here, like my dad, Kid Jordan, who I was raised by, but to be around him all day, to have his discipline, to have his musical expertise, and to have just his whole spirit around children and developing minds, even if they're not going to be a musician, people, when they grow up, they, they always remember my daddy. And they say, well, that, that was one of the best experiences I had. The ones who are musicians and are not musicians, they remember the stories and they remember his ways and his values of how to treat life. This camp is very important to the city of New Orleans and this, the, the world because we have had so many artists to come out of here like Christian Scott, uh, Trombone Shorty, uh, all kind of people who are making names for themselves and there are plenty more that are going to make names for themselves that have been right here in this camp. So just to have one to come out is enough, you know, so we just need your support and just keep it going. The jazz camp is very important uh, because, it, you know, it gives them exposure, not only exposure, but in the history of the music. And music is really, truthfully, the only language that we can correlate all the other subjects with, you know, because in order to be a musician, plus you must, you must understand English, you must understand, you cannot read account music if you don't understand mathematics. You must understand science, you know, we talk about notes and frequencies and things like this. So all your subjects, and we know as far as physical education, that's taken in because of breathing and things like this. So all, everything is incorporated through the language of music. Well, the importance of the camp to the students in the summer uh, uh, <clears throat> is uh, manifold, and that is that uh, children have something to do in their off months from their regular school training and where they can get together uh, with other students who have the same kind of interest, in this case music, and, and have a very intense uh, for two, three week period, uh, an intense undergoing, if you will, experience uh, in the stuff of their interest. This music, playing the music, uh, being in touch with their instruments every day. Often students don't pick up their instruments every day throughout the year for the entire day. Here at this camp, they have their warm-up, their technical exercises in the morning, and either they are with some kind of ensemble in the next hour or two before lunch, or they're with me in composition talking about writing and how that relates to playing. Uh, be, and, and the importance of uh, being in touch with that creative self that I just talked about. And I often bring up Louis Armstrong in the class because uh, Louis Armstrong had this great creative genius. And he uh, is who he is because of that. Not because he could play certain notes on the trumpet, but because he was very creative and he uh, kind of synthesized a language which many musicians uh, today draw on, expressions, uh, um, licks uh, that emanated with him. This is real creativity. And so kids, uh, the kids in the summer have a chance to be in touch with the mechanics of holding the instrument, blowing the instrument, but even beyond that, uh, putting it in the uh, context of, of uh, how it works with their creativity and how they can use it as a, their instruments as a vehicle for expression, 
whether they're expressing their own ideas or whether they're taking a composition and arrangement by uh, some person who is no longer alive and recreating a game. And of course, in order to do that, here we go, they have to draw on this creativity that I've been talking about. So the school is, the camp is very important to the kids in the summer. Thank you.